so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to show you how you can create that kind of middle level key using the blender so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial and before starting the tutorial guys i just want to tell you if you want to do practice on this project file so you can download this project file from the description that will be free for my all subscriber so now let's start the tutorial so here you can see guys this is the uh, rendering view and if i will press my f12 so here you can see this is my final render okay so don't worry about the texture guys you will get also texture file with this project file so make sure to download this project file okay and uh, i will also tell you how you can uh, add the texture on this key so so make sure you watch the tutorial till end and uh, now let's start the tutorial so first of all i'm just going to start a new file and after that i'm just going to uh, import one background image like a reference image for that i'm just going to press shift a and i will just uh, go to my image section from the background i will just uh, call this image and that is our image okay so now i'm just going to start a modeling so, so first of all i'm just going to add one uh, cylinder here so i will just add one cylinder something like that and first of all i will just go to my left view then i will change the cylinder setting align as a view so it will automatically change the view and that's fine and we can enable the transparent from the here and you can align your uh, model according to your reference so here you can see something like that okay and i'm just going to keep this in here going to scale it little bit something like that and then i'm just going to extrude the all vertices x and then i'm just going to do repeat command pressing the shift r yeah i think that's great and then i'm just going to maintain this edge line then i will just do extrude and again i will keep it here then i'm just going to scale it something like that then i'm just going to a little bit back side and i'm just going to extrude and again i'm just going to scale something like that and that thing i will going to repeat continuously okay So we are done with this shape and after that we'll just uh, add the uh, subdivision modifier on it pressing the control 2 okay and then i'm just going to hide everything pressing the shift edge and now we have that only things okay that key so now first of all i'm just going to uh, extrude this face e and scale and one more time e and scale that's fine and same thing i will do with the behind faces as well one time extrude then one more time extrude yeah that's fine and after that i'm just going to uh, bevel those edges pressing the control b but for that we need uh, reference images so we are going to do something like that yeah i'm just going to do bevel pressing the control b and then i'm just going to increase the number of cut from my scroll button and then i'm just going to scale it something like that yeah that's look fine so same thing we'll do with that edge as well first one i'm just going to move little bit then i will just do control b bevel and then i'm just going to do scale something like that okay i think that's look fine to me and you can just move this as a little bit downside and you can scale it yeah and same thing you will do with you can do with this edge as well so if i will hide everything and now if you will see so that's look fine to me we can just do shade smooth and that's look fine okay so our first part is done so now i'm just going to unhide everything pressing the alt edge and then i'm just going to my front view then we'll create this plane so for that i'm just going to add one plane and just change the view align as a view and we have to just scale this plane and keep it here we can just use the transparency to see where our plane going to fit so i think that's fine and then we'll just do extrude i'm just going to do edit mode of this plane and then going to do extrude and then i'm just going to keep it middle of this cylinder something like that i think that's fine okay now we'll create this shape okay so for creating this shape we'll use the uh, curve so first of all i'm just going to add one curve from my curve section this is the path basically 
okay so i'm just going to scale this path and going to keep it here okay something like that so right now we can't see our path properly so first of all i'm just going to do my object data property and from the uh, geometry section i'm just going to increase the depth little bit so now we can see very nicely our path shape okay so first of all i'm just going to enable my transparency then i will just go to edit mode of this path okay and then i'm just going to match this shape with this shape as well so i'm just going to do very quickly you can and if you want to create that kind of shape so first of all you have to scale this bevel and scaling this bevel you have to just press the alt s and you will able to scale it so now i'm just going to extrude it once more and now i'm just going to scale it down and i'm just going to keep it something like that and this one i will keep it upside and this one i will keep it little downside and same thing we will do with this uh, section as well first of all i'm just going to extrude it and i'm just going to scale it and i will do again scale extrude then scale it and i can just move this thing to here to here and this one to here can move it here and we can just scale it little bit fine to me but here is one problem here you can see right now we can see one hole uh, in the end of our curve so if you want to hide this hole so you can just click on this fill cap and you will get the rid of this whole problem okay so now i'm just going to do uh, make same to other as well so okay and uh, first of all i'm just going to do mirror this part to the here okay so for mirroring this i'm just going to select this cylinder first of all then i will just do control s and here i will just do uh, cursor to the selected so here you can see our cursor will be appear here and then i will just select this object then i will do right click and set origin as a 3d cursor okay so now if i will uh, add this mirror here so now it will perfectly uh, goes to uh, on top of this that part also so now it look fine to me here you can see okay and now you have to just repeat the same process to the other part as well so i'm not i'm not going to do i'm just going to do skip this part okay so let's do it so here you can see we done also with this part so, so now i'm just going to make this uh, round part so for making this round part i will use the uh, uv sphere and just going to keep it here and going to scale it something like that and uh, just make sure you apply this shade smooth and keep it in between this part yeah i think that's look fine okay so our this part is done so now i'm just going to show you how you can create this part very quickly so for that i'm just going to add one plane and after that i will change this align as a view and then i will just enable my transparency and going to scale this plane according to this uh, shape okay something like that that i will just go to the edit mode of this plane then i will use the knife tool and then i will just uh, create some shape from here so i'm just going to create the shape from the here as well yeah and i'm just going to cut this shape something like that after cutting the all shape you have to just press the enter and then you have to just select your face mode and then you have to select only this object okay and after that you have to just press the control i so that selection will be going to invert and then delete the all faces okay so after that you have just only that shape so first of all you have to just maintain this shape according to your shape as well so if you found any kind of uh, correction so you can do it very quickly so after doing this so first of all i'm just going to add the mirror modifier on it so for that i will just go my modifier section and add the one mirror modifier and then i'm just going to uh enable my clipping option so that will not allow to go this mesh uh, throughout this the other mesh okay if you will not enable this part so here you can see what will happen exactly so that mesh will be go to three throughout this uh, mesh that is not good so make sure you enable this clipping and after that you can just do it something like that okay 
and I think that looks fine to me. Doesn't matter if it not look like a symmetry. That's that's not uh, matter to us because this should be symmetry. Okay. So after that, I'm just going to do edit mode of this face, and then I'm just going to select this middle face and going to extrude it something like that. Here you can see. Okay. And after that, I'm just going to select these edges. And after selecting the all edges, you can just do Control B okay control b and you can just do bevel something like that and that's look fine to me so here you can see we have a perfect curve shape here okay and here you can see that look fine to me so here you can see guys our modeling is done so now i'm just going to add the texture on it so for adding the texture i have already uh, i have already one uh, gold texture okay so if you want to see so here you can see first of all i'm just going to switch this on our rendering mode and i'm just going to delete this point light and i'm just going to switch my render engine ev2 cycle make sure you did device as a gpu if you have then you have to just enable your denoising from the here render and v4 as well okay after doing these settings you have to just add add the uh, your cursor onto the word horizon then you have to add one plane and scale it up something like that and you can keep it here and then you have to just select your uh, key and just rotate it to the 90 degree something like that yeah okay and after that you can add the light on on your scene so for adding the light i'm just going to use the sdra so from here i will use the one sdra so you can see now our scene is light up so i'm just going to use one of my favorite sdra so i think that's fine to me yeah that's look fine so now i'm just going to add the texture and here you can see here we have a one cube where i have already added the texture so first of all i'm just going to select my curve object here okay from the here and after that i will just select this cube then i will just do control l uh, here you will see the make link dialog box will be appear you have to just do make link as a material so that texture will, will automatically uh, add on this in these uh, curves okay and same thing you have to do with this iquisphere as well just to select and material as well but when you will do with this uh, cylinder so it will not going to uh, wrap perfectly because we need to unwrap it so as you can see that texture is uh, look like a very stretch so don't worry about it we'll do unwrap then it will look perfect but first of all i'm just going to add the texture in all the object controller as a material okay so now here you can see we have to just uh, do the unwrap this cylinder first of all I'm just going to unhide everything, pressing hide everything, and then I'm just going to edit mode of this cylinder, and then I'm just going to select one of edge of middle of this cylinder. Then I will just do right click, and here I will do mark seam, and after that I will select all my faces, pressing the three. Then I will just do U, and then I will do unwrapped. So here you can see that texture is automatically uh, is fixed, but here you can see we can't see the good resolution texture. So for that we have to just go to UV editing section and select my all vertices and all faces. Then you have to just scale your texture a little bit. So if you if you don't see your texture properly, so you can enable from the here that. Okay, then you have to just scale it, and I think that look fine to me. Okay, and now I'm just going to unhide everything. And here you can see guys this texture is also going to stretch so if you want to fix this so you have to just select your edges okay after selecting the all uh, faces you have to just press the u then you have to just do unwrap and when you will do unwrap here you can see that will be uh, look like great but right now same problem is happening here it look like a uh, too much blurry so we have to just go to the the uv editing section and from we have to just select our texture and we have to just scale it down and now that problem is also fixed here you can see okay and after that if you want to add the bevel on it so you can apply the bevel and it will look more realistic here you can see these edges are look like a more curvy and if you want to add the bevel in that cylinder part as well so you can apply it okay 
and after that you have to just add the color in the background image just going to take as a black color and just decrease a little bit roughness and I'm just going to set my camera view here and then I'm just going to enable unlock my camera view from here and just set the one camera view something like that and after that if I will hit the F12 so it will look like this here you can see that's how you can create a, that golden mid-level key okay so thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys